guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you guys episode number one of Pack Squads. And uh, like I said in my previous update video, if you haven't watched it, I said I was going to restart this series back on my main account uh, because I felt like the Division 10 and the 9 and 8 gameplay was just a little bit too easy. Uh, the opponents were a little bit too easy, and I kind of want to face some harder opponents, and I think Division 1 will definitely satisfy that. Um, right now, we're going to be basically scrapping the previous uh, uh, Pack Squad series, and we're just going to be restarting with a fresh account. We have 20 spaces that we need to fill up, and there is the defensive team of the year that is out, like Luongo, Kopitar, Bergeron, Suter. Lots of players that we can pull that are awesome that we can throw into the team, as well as there is an awesome pack that came out as well. Uh, there is that 125k special pack, and that includes 26 items, and uh, 26 players, 26 rares. So, uh, lots of chances to pull maybe one of those team of the years. But before I open up this pack, uh, we're going to be going through the rules just a little bit. And th these rules are catered a little bit more towards Division 1. I know it's going to be a little bit harder, so uh, we'll definitely have to see if I have to change the rules in, a, in the future, I guess. So, anyways, uh, the same rule applies for every win that we get. Uh, we can buy an 8750 pack, and that depends on the streak. So, if we get a 7-game win streak, we can open up 7 8750 packs. Even though, you know, a 7-game win streak is very hard to get in Division 1, especially with a pack squad's team. And uh, we will add in a couple rules as well. For every shutout that we get, uh, we will be um, putting in a change team or change position on any player on our team. Uh, for every loss that we get, we are not going to remove a player off the team. I felt like um, it's fine to have that rule in Division like 5 or 4, but in Division 1, I want to be keeping as many players as possible. And when we face lots of good teams in Division 1, I can't afford to be losing players here and there and not be able to fill up those roster spaces. So uh, I'm not going to be adding in that rule as well as uh, what else am I missing. For every 5-game win streak, we can buy a special pack. And uh, that is just about it. So those are the rules for pack squads. If, you, if I'm missing anything, you guys can let me know in the comment box below. But anyways, let's get this pack opened up. Let's see what we get. Alright, so the pack is going to be opened up. Hopefully I was clear with the rules, but uh, you know what? I might be missing something there. But I was pretty thorough in my opinion. So let's get this pack opened up. Let's see what we rock with in Pack Squad Episode 1. And we're going to get a lot of good players here. We got Devin Dubnik, nice little goalie right there. 87 overall. Uh, we got Perron, uh, Dumba, Jack Johnson. Lots of very nice players there. Nishushkin, McDonald, Huberto, Bur uh, Burrow, sorry. Ulmark, uh, we got a backup goalie, I guess, uh, Goligoski, Letty, Grabner, nice little quickster there as well. I think uh, Devin Dubnik's going to be our highest overall. Wyman, Girardi, some pretty good defensemen there as well. So, anyways, not a bad team to rock with in Division 1 to start off this series. So, let's get these guys sent to our collection. I'll add them to the team. And the team build is complete. I threw in together all the players from the pack. Uh, we have a lot of goal scorers. We have a lot of depth players. So I'm pretty excited to play with this team in Division 1. Obviously, it's nothing overpowered, but it will definitely get us through and not get our asses whooped too hard, hopefully, right? Anyways, we'll go through the team right now. We got Grabner, Anders Lee, and David Perron on the first line. Uh, just put those guys together because there's a little bit of chemistry with them. Uh, there's also Yakupov, Jared Stoll, and uh, Jonathan Huberto on the second. On the third line, we got Burroughs, Backlin, and Ashushkin. And on the fourth, we got Joel Armia. Uh, we also got Eric Fair and uh, Brandon Peary. So, offense is looking not horrible, but uh, there's definitely room for improvement for sure. On our defense, we got Nick Letty. We got a 87 overall goaltender, Devin Dubnik. Hopefully, he can make a nice couple of stops in our next game. Uh, we'll definitely have to see how he plays uh, in the next game. Uh, also, on our first line, we got Dan Girardi. Uh, we also got Dennis Wyman and Jack Johnston. So, our first two defender pairings is definitely not too bad in Division 1. As well as, uh, we got Andrew McDonald and uh, Alex Goligoski on that third line defender pairing. So, that's basically how our offense and defense is looking like. We still need a uh, coach for our team, as well as we need Olmark. Uh, we have Olmark in our backup goaltender spot. Uh, so, like I said, definitely lots of room for improvement. But anyways, we're missing our fourth line for some reason. I don't know what's going on. It's invisible. Anyways, let's get into our first game of uh, pack squads. Let's see if we can get that win. I'll meet you guys in there. Alright, here we go, guys. Lots of guys making our debut. He's got a... Uh, Fraze, Clark, and Kessel on his first line. Very interesting uh, Torontonian lineup, I guess. But he's got a lot of good players. we got to watch out just a little bit. He'll definitely make it work in Division 1 with this team. So let's get it going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, nice little block-off pass. Uh, oh, Wendell Clark. Watch out. Get Jared Stoll in there. 
No. Oh, nice little block by our player. Don't know who that was, though. Nicoletti, come on. Pass the puck out. We need the puck out. Okay. We're on the penalty kill, too, right now. We're, like, four minutes into the game. All right, come on. Get around him. Get around him. Pass it up to Stoll. Uh, back pass to Goligoski. See if we can generate a play there. Oh, Burroughs. He was wide open. Couldn't get him puck, though. Oh, nice save by our goalie. And that's basically going to be the end of the first period. Not too eventful. Didn't get that many chances to score. Uh, but 5-0 to zero on shots. 2 minutes and 53 seconds. Time on attack to 2 minutes and 19 seconds. So, we definitely need some more shots on net. I got to commentate a little bit better for sure as well. So, anyways, we're entering the second period. Let's get this game going. Oh, no. We got beat by the defender. Oh, nice little defensive play. Oh no, we got a cross crease going, but it's okay. We still got the puck though. Let's go Valerie Nashushkin. Get by the defender. There it is. Puck protect. There it is. Keep getting by. It's lagging a bit. Shoot it. Yes, Dan Girardi gets the first goal. What a blast from the point. That's what I'm talking about. Nice shot from Dan Girardi. He makes it one to nothing. Pretty nice lead to have in the second period. Oh. He made a mistake there. Shoot it. Come on. Get it on net. He's just going to keep passing it out to me. In front. Anders Lee. What a save by his goalie. The toe save. No, 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 no. Oh, nice save by Devin Dumnik. That was a very bad defensive play by me. Not going to lie. And he does get a penalty as well. Pass it across to Nishushkin. Drag it back. Rifle it. And there it is. Post. And it, I don't know if that hit that post. But that was a nice shot by Nishushkin. Don't know why he's pausing it, but there it is. Two quick goals in the second period. And right, like just like that, we got a nice two-goal lead. All right, come on. Bring the puck in. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Get the puck back. No, Skinner's got the puck. No. Okay, let's just... Oh, oh Devin Doomnik. Uh, I was just hoping that he would make that save. That was a nice save by him. Oh, God. D Mark Stone. Our goalie's way out. Let's not play the puck out there. Let's be safe right now. Don't want to give up that two-goal lead for sure, so... Nice save by Devin Dubnik. He's definitely bailing us out quite a bit. Alright, so a lot more solid of a second period there. Let's take a quick look at the stats. 9-5 to five in shots. At least we have some shots on that, right? 4 minutes, 24 seconds time on attack to 5 minutes and 38 seconds. So, let's keep the, keep the puck going on the net. Get some more shots on. Let's see if we can extend that lead. Oh, he bit hard. Sauce it through to Lee. Uh, spin around him. Oh, what? What kind of stick lift was that? That was a nice move, though. Dan Girardi coming in hot with a hit. Uh, come on. Yep, nice poke, nice poke. At least we got some good defenders. And Kessel just whiffs on that puck. Give him a stick lift there. Come on, grab the puck. Get the puck out, get the puck out. Oh, nice little defensive play by Dan Girardi again. He is just doing so much work for us. All right, grab him. Come on, we got speed. Sauce it over. Come on, Baron. Get around him. Oh, there it is. And we're going to rifle it top left. Oh, no. And he gets laid out. All right, come on. Let's skate it in. See if we can generate a chance here. Uh, pass it in all the way around to Yakupov. There it is. Shoot. Oh, we got a shot on Cam Ward at least. And there it is. Neil Yakupov. Bad play by his goalie. He's been doing that all game. Passing it out to my players. And Neil Yakupov makes no mistake there. And we tuck it in, making it 3 to nothing in the third period. Oh, nice pass to Anders Lee. Not much time left in the period. Johnson! Oh, nice little shot there. Almost a tip from Neil Yakupov. He is just doing a lot of work for us. But Jack Johnson, that's got to go in. And off our guy, Perron. 14 seconds left in the period. Let's try and not lose that uh, goal. Let's not get, uh, lose that shutout. Oh, get the puck, get the puck. There it is, Armia. Getting in front of, our in the, in front of those players. Alright, and we're going to ring it around. 0 0.6 seconds. And that is going to be the end of the game. Very solid effort by us. Let's take a look at the stats and then we'll go ahead and buy that first pack. Look at that. Fan appreciation. One coin. God damn. Alright. Anyways, not a bad start. Let's take a look at the stats. 12 to 10 in shots. 9 minutes and 23 seconds. Time on attack to 6 minutes. And because we did get that shutout, that means we can buy a change team or change position on any of our players on our team. Three stars, Valerie Nishushkin, a second star, Dan Girardi, and the third star, Neil Yakupov. So all our goal scorers on the board right there. So let's go ahead and buy that first 8750 pack because we are on a one-game win streak. I'll meet you guys there. 
Alright, so great first win. Let's go ahead and buy the 8750 pack. See if we can add any upgrades to the team. Uh, not looking forward to anything too great because it is an 8750 pack, but never know. We could get one of those team of the years. Let's go pack. Show us something. And we're going to get a pretty awesome centerman right there. Uh, Antoine Vermette. Can't use any of those defenders. A Chorney and Rudwidel. Roy Woodell, uh, but Antoine Vermette, 85 overall. That's a really good centerman to have. We also have a left wing center, so I mean, I could change one of my centermen to um, uh, one of my left wingers to centermen, but not sure if I need that. Anyways, we also do get a coach there, Ivansky. We will send that to the collection, so I make sure to send him to my team. Anyways, pretty solid pack. Let's go ahead and go back to the team. All right, guys, so welcome back to the team. The team has improved a lot since we opened up the 8750 pack, so I'm pretty excited to show you what I've created, but Antoine Vermette is on the first line center spot. I promoted Yakupov because he did score a goal last game. I thought, you know what, put him up on the first line right wing spot so Grabner and Anders Lee can stay together. And we basically moved down every single centerman down one spot, so Jarrett Stoll is now in the third line center spot, Backlund's on the fourth line center spot, so we have all the correct positionings, as well as I did put a change team, that free change team that we got for getting a shutout, on Dan Girardi. I thought, you know what, he was playing awesome for me last game. Let's give him a little bit of chemistry with Devin Dubnik at least. So, right, just like that, we have a little bit of chemistry there. As well as we threw in Ivansky, so everybody gets a nice little boost on our team. So, anyways, that's pretty much it for this team update. Let's start up the second game of the episode. Let's see if we can win it. And here we go guys, the second game of the episode. He's got Tyler Johnson, Taylor Hall, and Phil Kessel on his first line. So a couple of snipers that are, are pretty good on his lineup. Totally forgot to tell you guys that I changed up the jerseys a bit as well. It's the Baxter Lakers. I thought I would change it up just a little bit, but I don't know. I'll change it every four or five episodes or so. Get a nice shot on net there. But uh, oh, Nail Yakupov. Rifle it! There it is! That's what I'm talking about. First, like, minute we score our goal. Luckily, we got it before the 19th minutes, or 19 minutes of this game, so he won't be able to quit out without getting that loss. So, pretty nice first goal by us. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, nice sauce! Nishushkin with the backhander! Nice little setup feed from uh, Burroughs, I think, that sauced it over to him. That's a nice goal I'm talking about. So, anyways, 2 to nothing. Pretty good start to the first period. Oh, nice little tie-up play. Back to the point to Dan Girardi. Come on, grab the puck. Grab the puck. He still got it. Dan Girardi, go, go, go. Shoot it. On net. Oh, man. Oh, Perron still got it. Oh, off the pad and out. All right. I think it's a five on four. We got 45 seconds on the power play here. All right, come on. Don't let him shoot the puck there. Oh, man. A little bit too aggressive with those poke, poke checks. I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous uh, letting any shots on Devin Dubnik, even though he's been playing pretty well so far. Anyways, oh. Oh, and just like that, he scores the goal. I made a bad play with a uh, winger to go up to Dan Girardi, so... Or, not Dan Girardi, what am I saying? Mark Giordano. Anyways, 10 minutes left. It's now 2-1. to one. Oh, go back, Lynn. You got a little break there. Beat him, beat him, beat him. He's got the speed. The backhand forehand. Oh, man. That almost just worked. Alright, we gotta play some good defense though. We got a nice little chance there, but he's got some pretty good players. No! No! Again, beat by the, the shot. Man, I cannot let them shoot like that. That's a bad play by me. 2-2 two to two now. Gotta get those goals back. Alright, so just like that, our two-goal lead is gone. 12-5 to five in shots. Not playing some good defense for sure. Four minutes time I attacked to two minutes, so we're definitely getting a little bit uh, owned here a little bit. You gotta play better. Just like that. I knew that play was gonna work. Perron off the pad and right to Vermette, our new pickup. That move works pretty well when they uh, kind of just stand right in the middle and they don't do anything. Thought I'd just go for the shot and rebound and we tuck in the garbage. Alright, let's see if we can keep those goals up though. No, where's my defender going? Number 39, I think that was one of my offense. And uh, just like that, he ties it back up 3-3. Three to three. Cannot get away with him with this lead. Oh, nice save by Devin Doomnick. Oh man, he's bailing me out right now. Uh, oh, watch out for Chara. 
God damn, got absolutely rocked. All right, come on, don't let Char in. There it is, nice poke check. Watch out for Char, he is a monster. Uh, okay, <laughs> just grab the puck, get it out. You gotta burn off this penalty. Right across to Peary, cut in front, and rifle it. Oh, I'm pretty sure Corey Schneider couldn't see that one. Dan Jordy though, come on, grab the puck. Back down low, Grabner, circle around, lagging a bit. Oh, just missing the net by a little bit. Oh, Jonathan Huberto, he's got a break. That back in for in, no. Totally messed that up. Why did I do that? Oh man, that was a golden opportunity. Couldn't tuck that one away. Yes! Perron, no! He had an open chance there. 41 seconds left in the period. Alright, we gotta play some good uh, defense against Joe Thornton. And no, that is not a good penalty to take. We can't be taking those penalties. 3-3, three to three, third period left, 36 seconds. Come on, alright, nice little tie-up. Perry, grab it. Pass it up. Alright, we got we got a chance here. Backlund, go Backlund. Alright, what can we do here? What can we do? Spin him? No, just just beat him. Uh, I didn't even do the move right. Alright, we gotta play some good defense here. 21 seconds left. Let's try to just burn this period off at least. Uh, no. Oh, you got a nice shot on net. Uh, what am I doing with my other defender here? No, 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 no. Oh, man. Switch to my other defender. Poke check it. Up. Backlin. Skate. Four seconds left. Back to the other guy. We're gonna get a shot on net. Shoot! Oh, and totally off the marker. Alright, so we're heading into overtime here. We gotta get this win, even though he does have that 4 on 3 in the first couple minutes there. 19 19 shots. We got a little bit more time on attack, but never know what's gonna happen in overtime. So let's get this period going and see what we can do. Alright, so it looks like it's going to shoot out. And oh man, not too many chances there, but it was a pretty tight little uh, uh, overtime right there. Let's see what we can do on the shootout, I guess. I haven't played goalie too much in uh, NHL 16, so we're gonna de definitely have to see what we're going to do here. Oh, I thought I could sneak in the backhand. Very slow move. I mean, can't win with the that type of uh, gameplay here. All right, come on. There it is. Nice save by Devin Dubnik. Just go on the knees. Try to make that save. All right, come on. Who else do we have next? Antoine Vermette. All right, let's go. Let's try to do the fake Datsuk here. No, I'm not going to do the fake dad suit. Just going to do a backhand forehand. Right flip past his pad. All right, come on. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to do a flying poker. Flying poker. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we need to score this goal, and then we can win this game here. Come on, Grabner. Grabner. Yes, and there is the goal. Thought I would juke him out with a shot, and then the double backhand combo. And that's what I'm talking about. We get the second win of uh, pack squads that is the start I am talking about so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the stats before we go ahead and buy those packs alright so this guy definitely played a pretty good game not gonna lie 25 to 19 shots 9 minutes and 30 sec 6 seconds time on attack to 8 minutes uh, I took a lot of penalty minutes I gotta avoid doing that next game Mark Giordano getting him the first time uh, Kyle Pozo getting the second and Antoine Vermet our uh, guy that we just gave a debut got our third star so not bad at all so let's go ahead and buy a 17.5k pack. I'll meet you guys there. Okay guys, so we're at the pack page. Uh, because we won two games in a row, that means we can buy two 87.50 packs or it's equivalent to one gold premium jumbo. And usually the gold premium jumbo is a little bit better. So let's go ahead and buy the gold premium jumbo. Let's see if we can pull any good players for our team. Even, I mean, I don't know, even a changed team on our players would be pretty nice as well. So let's get this pack opened up. Let's see what we get. And... Uh, I don't see anybody too good there. I mean, we got another backup goalie that we could use, uh, Nicholas Backstrom. Uh, not the right Nicholas Backstrom. Uh, we also got Kennedy and Randall. Larson, uh, those aren't the best players from that pack. We do get an assistant captain card. Uh, Bo Horvat, all right, all right. He could be like a second or third line centerman for us. Any other players, that is just about it. We get a Bansky again. Can't really use him, but not a bad pack. I mean, assistant captain and Bo Horvat. Can't complain too much about that pack, so let's go ahead, send those to the collection. I'll meet you guys back at the team.
All right, guys, so a quick team update before I end off this episode. Uh, but I did throw in Bo Horvat into that second line center spot. Uh, you guys can let me know some line suggestions for the next episode. But uh, we did also throw in Nicholas Backstrom. And nicely enough, he does have a Minnesota change team on him as well. So uh, that will be pretty good for future Pack Squad episodes in case Devin Dubnik does get tired. So uh, one more thing before I go. Uh, we also need to apply that assistant captain card to someone. So if you guys can decide in the comment box below... Who should deserve the assistant captain card? The most, uh, I guess, votes for whichever player I will put the assistant captain card on. But that is pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed episode number one of Pack Squads. We squeaked by with two wins. Luckily in that second game. Not gonna lie, that was pretty nerve-wracking. But I'm pretty happy that we won both of those games. That's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave it a like if you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Awesome centerman, has amazing shot, amazing hands, uh, amazing skating as well. He's definitely the overall card I like to use. Uh, Larkin and Kessel. I put the assistant captain on Kessel just so he's a little bit faster. Honestly, um, I could change the assistant captain because I've been doing too much. Better.